to midday. Linda Hudson joins us now from the Central Louisiana Food Bank, and thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So last month was definitely huge. You want to talk about that a little bit? Sure. We just wrapped up. September was Hunger Action Month, and we certainly want to thank our community for everything that they did to take action to help alleviate hunger. You know, of course, the work is year-round. We know people need our help. 12 months out of the year, but leading up into the, the year end when we really focus a lot on donating and volunteering, um, September just kind of gives us a chance to make sure we share our story, let people know about the issues of hunger. You know, we have about 67,000 people in our 11 parish service area who are considered food insecure, mm -hmm. meaning they don't always know where their next, next meal is going to come from. So we just want to, you know, always focus and let people know um, when you donate to the food bank, either financially or by food or by volunteering, it's helping people in your community. And I think it's still a staggering statistic to look at with one in five children that, that are in poverty in Louisiana. And this food bank obviously stretches a lot more than just our main viewing area in central Louisiana. It stretches out a lot more. How big is that impact to bring out the region and to bring access to this food for these families? Sure. So again, we serve 11 parishes right across the, the center of the state. And the, as you know, the central Louisiana community, the most of it's very rural right. and unfortunately, like you said, very low income. And so we're really trying to reach out into those communities and make sure we're serving families across our service area, not just here in Alexandria. You know, we do that with our backpack program. We're currently doing 2,000 a week where we're sending home food on the weekends for kids that have been identified as, you know, food insecure and may not have enough to eat over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Our mobile pantries, we have 27 every month where we're going out and doing food distributions in very rural communities where we don't have partner agencies to work with. You know, in Alexandria, people are familiar with Manna House, Salvation Army, right. food pantries, a lot of people that we work with that help us that are critical in helping us getting food out. But in so many of these communities, there's just not place other places to go. And so, and at least for the good thing around this time of year is the amount of food drives that you guys will be doing. That's right. Here. We are gearing up. Um, of course, the big Christmas year food drive will start happening. We'll be getting that information out to schools um, very soon. That happens in five of our parishes. Um, people can do food drives year round, but again, businesses, churches, different organizations like to do that. We also have the opportunity to do what's called a virtual food drive. We have all the information on our website, and basically a group can set it up where they have a campaign and people can donate money, and then we can show you the equivalent of what food that we can purchase with that. You know, we have opportunity to buy food at a much lower cost than if you go to the grocery store. So that's always another option for people where you're still doing a food drive, you're still supporting us with food, but you don't have to actually go to the store and get it. Absolutely. So each day just trying to build more and more to try to get rid of hunger. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Absolutely.